Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today we are continuing with the Big Wave Beach action. Of course, now we're doing level 17 through 24. Are we, yeah, we're unlocking a plant in today's episode, the Guacodile, that should be exciting. But in the meantime, we gotta get started with level 17 and see how it goes. I do wanna give a big thank you to everybody who gave suggestions in the last episode. I've tried to read through as many of them as I can. Got a lot of useful info and like different strategies we could definitely try out. A lot of you were suggesting I should keep trying out the Twin Sunflower and Infinite maybe even try some Sunshroom at some point. I'm game for all that, so we'll just try to figure things out as we go along. So where's the infinite at? Right here. So we'll try that, and then also, of course, we'll try some of the area-specific plants. Where is the lily pad and this and that? A lot of people are saying the bowling ball can be tough when there's a group of zombies in one lane, but when they're adjacent to other zombies, uh, so like multiple zombies in multiple lanes, that's where it could be really powerful. I could definitely see how that's the case. And there's nothing specific about this level except for the fact that there's a brand new zombie. I think that for him, I, I might wanna get, cause we've gone against him in like specific other like event levels before and we know he's tough. So maybe like a potato mine just to get rid of him super fast. I mean, we'll also have the seaweed. So actually that might not work too well. <laughs> Gotta remember what type of level I'm in. Maybe a cherry bomb might be just like a good backup thing. So where are the cherry bombs at? They're up here and what was working out well before? I mean, Colonel Pulse for sure. Maybe just to slow some zombies down might be good. We'll try this, we'll try this out. We'll see how it goes and hope for the best. I mean, I feel like I'm making a mistake, like I'm missing out on something. I probably am. It's been two days since I last played. That was just one episode worth, but now I'm, I'm gonna record a whole day's worth of PVZ too. <laughs> I mean, not the same that this is going up, but whenever this video goes up is also, or whenever I recorded this video is when I recorded a bunch of it. Okay, so there's the seaweed doing its thing. Right now the tide is very low, but obviously that's going to change, and that's what I'm trying to adjust to right now, so maybe I could put the kernel pole right over that way. I was hoping I could do another seaweed for this guy. Is cherry bomb worth it? Probably not, but will this grab him? Please grab him, please grab him. Yes, okay, that's gonna make this a bit easier. Um, Cause the kernel pole could definitely get rid of that guy. Um, oh, I wish I had another seaweed though. <laughs> I could go something crazy like a cherry bomb. I just don't think it's worth it. But what I could do here is this, and then just a little bit more sun, we can do the bowling bulbs, just like that. Maybe that'll be good, maybe they'll be worth our while. Hopefully that'll actually, oh, but this might work as well. Uh, a little too late, I think. No, it wasn't, surprise, surprise. Okay, so now this guy down here is a bit more of an issue, and maybe you should have saved it for him. <laughs> Hindsight 2020, though. Um, hmm, I feel like this is gonna be a level that I need a couple of tries with regardless, but. Oh, come on, the Tangle Club is actually almost ready. He actually just walks over the lily pads. I didn't know that. Huh, that's interesting to know. So, you know what? Seems a little bit silly, but I'm just gonna do that just to be safe this time. I think I'll get rid of you. But we have our full set. Okay, see, so this is where I probably should have actually used it, you know? So I could try plant fooding this. It actually might not be that bad of an idea, especially seeing how he's throwing the octopus already, which the octopus is a big problem. It's like the wizard zombie, but worse, as far as I've been able to tell. Because he can do it from any distance, which is the really hard part, because you know the wizard zombie had to be pretty close back in Dark Ages. Okay, so this is where I might need to set up some infinites. Maybe get something set up a little bit more down that way, because I have no idea when high tide. I mean, at the same time, I thought that the octopus would go away, seeing how we got rid of the dude, but Am I supposed to tap it or something? Is there like some kind of feature I'm supposed to enable here that I'm missing? Okay, let's do this. Not really exactly the spot I wanted, but I might have to do like the wall. The wall, and then maybe a cherry bomb about here would actually be perfect. Oh boy. Um, What are they even eating through right now? I don't even know. Are they eating through a lily pad? Or are they, no, yeah, yeah. well now there is. Um, I don't know. What, what's going on down there? Come on, come on, I know you can get rid of the imp. And as soon as you do, oh, they're eating through the wall that's in front of them. Okay, I see now, yeah, because of the infinite power. This is insane so far. Uh, I'm gonna keep as much as I can going, get the twin sunflowers back up. The infinites are doing what they can, which is great. I'm gonna try to get rid of some of these guys. If I could get rid of this dude. Did he eat it? No, he didn't, good. Because I need some more plant food as, as soon as possible, really. So I'm just gonna get as many infinites out. I know I'm not supposed to have a ton of them out, but right now there's just like such an overwhelming amount of zombies and stuff. I feel like this will be good. I mean, I could end up pushing them back a little bit and try to uh, get more bowling bulbs. That might end up being worth my while. But for right now, um, more stuff is showing up. So I'm thinking I could 
use some plant food. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that actually got rid of him. Now, now it is, now it is, okay. But yeah, that's still super weird because like that, that sunflower that got octopus over here is still octopus. So there, like, there must be something I can do to get rid of it, right? Like I can't dig it up. Like what do you do there? Okay, wait, that did something. What, 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 what did I do there to turn everything into sushi? Oh, it looks like they actually did get rid of, did I even have a bowling bulb up there? I don't even remember. I think I did, but it got taken out. But what did I do? I'm not really sure to make it so that everything turned into sushi there, because it happened all at once. Like I tried to dig it up and that sort of did something, but I don't know if that was actually, it was weird. Um, but maybe I can like look at the almanac, we can figure it out from there. Anyways, we're gonna get 100 coins for our first level of the day being completed. We get some banana launcher experience, a plan I don't even have, but oh, maybe we're getting him, yeah, we're getting him this world, I forgot about that. But yeah, we already got a level for the Glockodile. Whenever we can actually unlock him, that'll be awesome. Oh, it's Dave and Penny. I tell you, Penny, these surf-loving zombies are the pits. Analyzing the phrase, the pits. Hmm, pits, very interesting, user Dave. You are a genius. I am? No, no you are not. However, you have given me an idea. Quacodile, this plant fights zombies with pit-like projectiles. And he employs a powerful bite as well. Plant him in front, on the front lines, you'll see. So our trip to the big wave beach continues. So he worked very similarly in PvZ Heroes from what I remember of that game, uh, is that like once he gets destroyed, he'll just like destroy something in front of him. So I will do that. I guess I might as well start now. Like, what happens? He'll just sort of chill out. No, he fires pits as well. Huh. This will be interesting. Can they just be put in the water? Oh, can they? Will they just float? Do they have a function here? Oh my gosh, they can, right? Well, he put his mouth open, but it didn't actually fire anything. Okay, so he's sort of just a sitting duck in the water. Like, he just sort of sits there. Like, he tried to fire before. He didn't seem to do anything. I don't know. Right now, I gotta deal with that. There we go. Hmm, this is certainly interesting. I'm gonna get rid of him if I can. Like, what happens if I, yeah, they just go crazy. Now, I don't know if that happens if they're not on the lily pad, you know? I mean, if they are on the lily pad. Probably shouldn't have put him back there. Will he be able to fire when he's not on the lily pad at all? I guess not. So like, let's put him here. He should, he's basically a lawnmower. Sort of, he doesn't do as much damage as one. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that. So that is odd. I would like more lily pads. I would also like to try out his plant food ability, but I would like to use, wait for a big wave. Here we go, here we go. Hopefully that's enough. We'll, we'll get to sort of see what's gonna go on, maybe. Oh yep, as soon as the zombie touches it, it's just gone, he just runs. Come on, yeah, grab him, because we need more in that center lane, for sure. I don't have any uh, lily pads for it once again. There we go, there we go. So they sort of work like almost like a pea shooter in some way, but they're like a pea shooter combined with a chomper, too. It's a bit odd, for sure, but I like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Actually, no, see, now they're firing. It's sort of weird, like sometimes they fire, sometimes they don't, but do they fire when they're in the water? That's what we need to know. I don't know, I guess we won't have to worry about it too much. Let's do some plant food. Whoa, he makes a little baby guac and he makes a couple of them. Wow, okay. No, leave my darn thing alone. So I guess he maybe will just attack it enough so that it'll just end up, whoa, whoa, here we go, here we go. Um, Man, that guy definitely packed a bit of a punch. No, 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 yeah, don't. Oh, there goes my guac on the bottom. It is really weird because they weren't, the ones on the ground weren't attacking before, but I guess they sort of just work that way. I don't know if they'll move forward if there's no water though. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's do this. And I'll do that. Maybe I should have actually saved that lily pad. Whoa! That was crazy. It's gonna throw him right back at him. That's good, that's good. Come on. Yeesh, this is tough. They're really tough. Okay, I gotta stop you. Because if not, you're gonna be a big pain. Okay, throw him back, throw him back. Come on, get him. Quickly, 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 get that guy on the top. This is really tough so far. Oh boy. 
Especially when we're running out of options because of all the octopus things. Like, I need to read the almanac, and I didn't really get the chance to do that this time, unfortunately. It's so tough, though. Because there's just like so many things getting eaten up here. Like, what do you do about that? Here, do this. See, like, why did it turn into sushi that time? What did I do? I don't know. You would think that just destroying the dude would be enough. Oh, come on. Um, I'm gonna do this. No, I don't have any plant, well, what did I use the plant food on? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I just don't have enough. Like, yeah, this lady on the top's gonna be able to, and I can't dig it up. Oh, that's really frustrating, because it's like, there's gonna be a point in time where you just won't be able to do anything, and you're just done for. Oh, that really, really stinks. I'm gonna send as many guacadiles to beat you up as possible for right now, because I can't really do too much more anyways. Come on. Maybe I could, yeah, that's not actually gonna grab anything. Come on, beat this guy up. Can't really do much here, can I? Come on, more guacadiles, there they go, there they go, okay, cool. Now let's get some more over this way by doing this. And there we go, we actually survived only losing one lawnmower, that's a miracle. To say the least, that was a total miracle. Miracle. <laughs> uh, that was that was interesting for sure. So one more level remaining before we unlock Guacadile for ourselves. Certainly difficult. <laughs> Survive the zombie attack with most plans picked for you in day 19. We'll do what we can, but we also want to check out the almanac for the octopus. So the octo zombie, octopus zombie, whatever it's supposed to be, over this way. So let's just figure that out real quick. Way over here, almost there. Okay, here we are with the big wave beach. Yeah, right here, this is the Octo Zombie. Throws octopi at your plants to bind them up. Special bound plants are passive until their octopus is destroyed. So that's sort of the thing. If he threw it all the way to the farthest to left, to like the last lane, there's not really any way you can do anything. So that's like where it gets crazy. You just have to get lucky in some ways for sure and have your strongest plants on the farthest left. That's another big thing. Okay, so level objective, survive the zombie attack with the most plants picked for you. I will try. So at the guacadile, I wish I could level him up, but until we unlock him, we can't. So we get Sunshroom, lily pad, iceberg lettuce, kernel pole, and guacadile. If there's anything else I can get here, of course, it's going to be uh, tangle kelp and bowling bulb. I think that'll be our best bet. I wanna put bowling bulb, maybe not far of this to the left. I don't know, like I don't know when it'll be more powerful. Well, probably bowling bulb. We'll have to wait and see. Right now though, Sunshroom, and like I, I'll have to put them on lily pads if I wanna keep up with this. Okay, there's our first one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Come on now, there we go. And then I guess I could do something like that. <laughs> don't know what else I'm doing there, uh, but yeah, I'll put the, uh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh man, I need more sunshroom space, so I guess I'll do something like that to sort of spread it out a bit more. That crocodile should be able to get her. I can only hope. Please don't have to run away. I mean, the is only 125, so actually quite affordable in that way. So that's at least good. Man, this is not gonna be easy, no matter what. Maybe the bowling bulbs are too much to ask for. So I'd put it back here. And then I could try to just do this for now. It works, because I need to put kernel bolts there anyways. There we go, ooh. I sorta of hit that zombie up there. Okay, huge wave is coming in when I'm absolutely not ready for it at all. Oh man, I am so not ready for this. Don't make it go faster then. <laughs> Wrong thing. Okay, so, go crazy with that. That got rid of at least a good chunk of them, so I can worry a little bit more about these guys down here, like that. Oh no, oh no, come on, get rid of that guy, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Put the seaweed down here, get some extra sun, do the bowling bulb. Man, those zombies are catching up fast. There we go, there we go, he's throwing the octopi. No, stop it. Uh, Let's put that there, and then maybe, we, we need another one, but I don't have enough going on here, come on. Come on. Yeah, let's see that there. Come on, come on, come on. Get that there. We can do it, I know we can. It's just not easy. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, high tide, or low tide, I mean. 
Whoa, 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 more plant food. That's actually perfect, because I can do this. Like, see, like, that's where it's like, oh no, that was sort of the wrong place to put that, isn't it? Um, this is super frustrating though, because like, what am I possibly supposed to do about the octopus on the farthest left? If only it can be undone by attacking it, like a gravestone, there's no way I can make that happen. Let's like get like a split pee, but I feel like that's such a weird thing to do just for one specific thing. Like, like that's insane, it's ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, I'm activating this. No, I want to activate the lawnmower. Well, it's too late now. Jeez Louise, like I survived. This is the last little grouping of zombies coming up, but man, is that ridiculous. There, come on. I'm gonna freeze him. I'm just gonna hit him with another bowling ball. This is the last guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm making an awful habit of disconnecting my iPad. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, we won. It is crazy difficult. But you know what, that's the best we could do. We survived, we only lost two lawnmowers, which isn't the end of the world, and we unlock the guacodile. <laughs> unlock the guac. I like it. Shoot seeds, will rush zombies all ahead of him when attacked. Not too bad, I mean, one more plant for the repertoire, that's always good. We should be able to get a reward for that, of course, for unlocking the guacodile. And that is gonna be 100 coins, five more experience for the guacodile, and two experience for the bowling bulb. Can't wait to get that to that level two, that'll be helpful. And let's see what our next objective is over this way. It is gonna be unlocking the banana launcher, dispense justice by launching banana missiles anywhere on the board. Complete Big Wave Beach, day 27. We'll be doing that in the next episode for sure. It'll be interesting, but for right now, we're going to day 20. So, nothing special about this level but surviving. The only big thing we, we can see here is that, oh, it's gonna be tough because we don't have too much room to work with there. So, I think we're gonna do this strategy again. I wonder if that would end up blocking the octopi. Probably not. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, in the meantime, we need to do this for sure. And then I'm thinking we could just go something a bit more you know, harsh, just try to get rid of that guy as soon as possible. If he shows up, use a cherry bomb on him and just be done with it, you know? That might be my best bet. So twin sunflower, I need more sun. There we go. And place it down. So I need more sun to place that down and there's already, wow, wow, wow. Okay, come on game. Don't you think that's a little ridiculous? That was just a tiny bit. Now we're getting th three zombies at once and two more zombies immediately pop up. You can't just give me a second, just like just a moment, a fraction of time to figure this out. No, apparently not, not interested. Uh, I'm gonna put this here and that there and then if I could get one more sun so I could do that and then hope I can get another, uh, what's it called, for that cone had another thing. Well, let's see if that'll slow you down for long enough so I can do that, if I can get another uh, seed thing. You know what I mean, not the seed, this, tangle cup. Oh my gosh, I can't think of words because I gotta win. I gotta win. Okay, got the sun, there it is. You're out of here, you're done, you're finished. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't put the guacodiles in the back though because their whole point is that they can launch forward like that, but that's sort of kind of a waste of sun at the moment. And I guess I got through the infinite's lily pad, so that's gone now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, put this somewhere. I can't handle this. This is not working. This is not working. We were continually just like fighting and going downhill. Okay, I need the cherry bomb about there. I probably should have waited a moment so that I could have gotten this guy as well, but. Okay, there has to be something I can do here. Like maybe if they could just cough up some sun, that'd be perfect, but they're not doing that. Oh man. Do this then. I need to do this for this guy, I think. Maybe that was a bad idea. Probably was. Ah! Uh, uh, I don't know if that was a good idea. That was a dumb idea, actually. I, I, I should have used that. Yeah, that was a total waste. I should have used that for the infinite. It would have made things survive for a bit longer, but like, I can't. I can't do this. It's too much. It's too much. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Get this, no, get this here. Give me that. Huge wave of zombies, I love to see it, right? <laughs> Come on, I know I can do this. It's just <laughs> so tough. I don't see an octopus zombie yet. I'm trying to keep an eye out for that because if not, I'm gonna get in big trouble. There he is, there he is, there he is. Grab him, get him out of here. 
Please get him and not the, the cone head. You're kidding me, game. You are kidding me. That's so unfair. That is so unfair. I don't care what anybody says. It's like super duper unfair. Okay, get this here. Get that there. Stop slamming surfboards on my plants, dude. That's not gnarly. And you, buddy, I want you to be gone. Just get out of here. I'm gonna have to activate this. It stinks. Okay, so the 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 lawnmower was what was doing that there. Okay, do this. I know it's gonna obviously not add up to too much. Come on, get rid of that dude. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. No, you're not gonna be able to do it, are you? I'm so disappointed in that in that bowling bulb. I mean, I don't mean to be harsh, but I'm so disappointed in that. There's no way. There's no way I could survive this. This is insane. Okay, I need tons of sun right now. Like, I'd rather not have used that on sun, but I had basically no other choice. Come on. I'm gonna dig that guy up. I'm gonna cherry bomb right here, and I'm trying to time it so I also hit those guys. There it goes, okay, okay. That's the best I can do for there. You're kidding me. Like, dude, get a hobby that isn't throwing octopus at me. Like, please, pretty please. Okay, the moment that's ready, I gotta basically do that same thing over there, though, and I can't. Oh, that's over. That 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 that, that one's done. How? <laughs> How is that like even feasibly possible? It can't be done the way I'm doing it. Like, twin sunflower just like doesn't produce enough sun fast enough to keep up with the demand here. Get that there. Do this. My gosh. Can I just get some plant food that I could use for the infinite? Like that'd be fantastic. But I just can't get to that point. Oh my gosh. And like now it's like do or die because if this goes on for any longer, can you please, please, please get that guy? Of course you're not gonna get that guy. Why, why, why would you wanna be helpful? That'd be ridiculous. And I don't have any sunflower. I got one sunflower on the bottom. Yeah, we're done. It's over. There's nothing I can do here. Like I could try cherry bombing you guys, but it's just continually going downhill. And I don't have anything for those guys. What in the world were they thinking when they made these levels? <laughs> probably that they're gonna, probably they're gonna make a lot of people pay up money for more plant stuff, more plant food. I gotta see, you know what? I'm gonna go see what I have in the Zen Garden. I haven't done that in a while, have I? I've been just tr trying to just figure out these levels without it. I, I, I probably should start using some of those, right? So I don't really have too much I can do here. I mean, I can play this, like boost that. Just I wanna have everything just automatically boosted so that I don't have to worry about it. If we don't get anything, I'd I mean, the in infinite will be great. I do not wanna pay 10 gems for it, but I will speed it up a little bit. Maybe that'll help us in future episodes. Maybe it won't. I feel like for right now, I need to do not sunflower, like maybe primal sunflower, but I'm thinking just normal sunflowers might be good. Might be able to get me through it just because I don't have the extra time that I need. Like there's just so many zombies coming at us. I'm thinking like I love the bowling bulb, but I need something that'll get out faster. I mean, I say that, but I don't know. Because also it's like a matter of real estate. Like we don't have enough room. Like maybe the bowling bulb is fine. I mean, I guess I should do more rotavega. People were telling me that if I wanted to do rotavega, I should probably do garlic with it. I wouldn't mind trying something like that, but I don't feel like that doesn't mesh well with the guacodiles. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, well, I'm gonna go as fast as I can with this. We'll sort of figure it out as we go along. This strategy might be a bit sloppy, so it might not work because, uh, like, this is like you need absolute precision for this one. It's insane. Um, so I, okay, that seaweed's gonna do its thing. I'm gonna get that there, and that seems to be doing something at the least. I don't know if that's actually gonna get rid of the imp before it actually activates a guacodile. It looks like it won't, which is totally unfortunate. But I did what I could. Come on, I need more sun. I mean, I guess I could actually set up some flowers back here too, because I'm not gonna put the rotavegas back there. I'm not gonna put the uh, guacodiles back there either. Okay, this is too much still, like way too much. I'm just gonna do that for now. It's this really the starting point that is so challenging. Get that there. And I think that that rotavega should be able to deal with the imp. Yep, okay. So as long as we can just keep that going for now. 
and then maybe get you, and then more sunflowers. More sunflowers are the ticket for right now. And I actually don't need, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of that without uh, digging up the Rota Vega, so I'm not gonna risk it for the moment. But I would not end up, okay, come on. Just do that. And do that. Oh boy. Eat the garlic. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, but it's sort of kind of working. Oh boy, this guy's scary. I just need more sun right now. Okay, eat him up before he activates the guacadal, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm thinking about using this here. I don't know if this lasts forever, or if it just lasts until like the zombies eat it, or if it lasts, like obviously it lasts until the zombies eat it, but also, does that have any kind of timer tied to it as well? I'm not really sure. Okay, more rotabagas need to come out right now. And we'll get a guacodile there, I guess. Okay, this is sort of kind of going somewhere. <laughs> I always feel bad using the rotabaga. A lot of people told me like the rotabaga wasn't a part of the game when Big Wave Beach came out, but at the same time, I'm desperate. I'm just desperate to get anything done. There we go, there we go, come on. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna, don't you slam on my infinite, you jerk. You are the most uncool dude I've ever met. Okay, they're gonna eat away my rotabaga, but maybe the guacodile will show them the wrath that I feel. There we go, that at least helped to some extent. Okay, we get more of this, I need it for the infinite. So let's do this, and it sort of restores his health as well. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> Why are you gonna throw your octopus on everything? There we go, come on. Ugh, this guy's the worst. Like, the worst ever. Come on now. Can I get him with that? Doesn't look like it. I wish I could. See, that time that actually worked. Okay, get him, Glock. Get him, dude. Oh no. Okay, the wall still stays out, which is nice. Oh boy. Come on, just keep it going. There's an overwhelming amount of everything. But mostly rotabagas. It's sort of kind of working. <laughs> man, oh man. There we go, there we go, come on. I'm gonna actually speed this up. Never thought I'd see the day where I was able to speed up Big Wave Beach. And then put this here. Please actually get the octopus, dude. This game is so mean. It's so mean. It's just like, oh yeah, you want the octopus guy? Well, good luck with that one. I'm not gonna help you with that. <laughs> it's like, geez, like, why does it have to be that way? Like, I, clearly I want it to get rid of the more powerful zombie. Okay, so now there's so many rotabagas, it's like, it's hard for um, anything to stay as an octopus. And that's sort of a big deal. I mean, now this is sort of a problem. Uh, and I don't know what to do about it, except for hope for some plant food to help me out and just like replace the rotabagas. And that seems to be working mildly well. Also maybe do this, just sort of chomp them down a little bit. If I could just get, like I'm not getting much plant food either. Like there's not, this level's not very giving in like any way. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. There's more rotabagas. That's the solution to every problem, is an overwhelming amount of rotabagas. I wish it could be something else, but it can't be. There we go. They're basically the star fruit of this game, but even better. Like, I wonder what the star fruit's gonna be like in this game, because star fruit's in this. I know we tried it for a little bit, but I don't really remember it much. But like, this is basically star fruit 2.0. It's like even better. Okay, ready? If I get the cone head, it's not a big deal, because I could use that plant food. Which, ooh, come on, come on. The next chance I get, I'm gonna do this, get the wall back up. Good old wall helping me out. And I might as well start replacing some of these sunflowers. I don't know if that all, it should reach some zombies at the least. Oh, here comes the Gargantuar. Well, I hope you're ready to deal with a Rotabaga, buddy. Let's see how much damage this does, if it does anything to him. It definitely hit him, specifically. I'm gonna hit him with a bunch of, uh, as many, oh gosh, this is getting close. This is getting too close. Let's just, yeah, hit him again. Yeah, you're gonna fall apart right away. 
and then do this. Ready? Oh, nice, I actually got him, okay. We're fine, we're so fine. Okay, Rotobago's in for the win. <laughs> I'll take it. You know, I'll just, I'm just gonna take it. And whoa, we got the angry thingamajig. It's like some kind of a charm. What, what is, oh, this is the endless mode, isn't it? I forgot. <laughs> Man, they, they really make you wait. Uh, alert, I've detected a strange statue surfing era significance. Well, looky there, it's a tiki statue with, a, with crazy eyes. Analysis indicates this tiki could inflict a terrifying challenge upon any who follow it. So you're saying that a tiki torture awaits? Get it, a tiki torture? User Dave, I must say, your pun is torturous. So is yours. <laughs> tiki torture. Survive level after level of escalating zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. We'll do that in a future episode for sure. But for right now, we're gonna move to level 21. Well, there's Tiki Torture waiting for us, but not now. Whoa, that's cool. It's all covered in lava now. Oh, that's so cool. Tiki Torture is now available. We'll do that some other level. For right now, level 21 is our goal. Let's hope it's easy. <laughs> it's not going to be, but I can at least hope. Whoa, fighting zombies that arrive in waves and tides isn't easy. You're telling me. You know what we need, Penny? An ally with a lot of tood. And by tood, I mean attitude, in case you need a translation. And I suggest we call homing thistle. Ooh, a lot of people have been suggesting this plant. I believe he has this tood you speak of. His eyes intense, he can shoot the zombies a real mean look. More importantly, he can shoot deadly darts that home in on their target. Two painful blows uh, for the price of one. Radical. Okay, so yeah, the homing thistle sounds like a fun plan. This actually might be an easy level. Okay. Maybe. Can the ice cream let us go in the water? I can't. It'll probably just melt. Okay, yeah, you gotta put us. We gotta put a stop to that. Maybe I should have put it out farther with the lily pad. Just waiting for this so called homing thistle they said I'm gonna have. Oh, here we go. He is so mad. He definitely has some tood. What is happening? He's just like frozen mid splash. Oh boy. So what happens if I do this? Will that make him fall? Oh, he just goes right over it. But the cool thing about the homing thistles, as you can see in, is, or as you see right now, is that they home in on their target. And that's perfect. I'm just gonna set up some lily pads here and there. See what that ends up doing for us. Can't wait to see what the plant food is. I actually might use this right away. Just like this. Oh man, that was super cool. This is a premium plant, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait and see whether or not <laughs> we showcase it anytime soon, because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna showcase any of the premium or gemium plants until we finish the main story mode, just because we're busy enough with all the plants we have right now. Oh boy. Come on, come on. I wanna freeze this guy, I think. Might be worth my while. Okay, I didn't even need to, but it still actually activated the frozen. Okay, do this, get more homing thistles, I need them. Oh, two plant food that time. I'm gonna wait for this one. Maybe put it here, yeah. There we go, now we have a lily pad on each one. And I have more if I need it, which I may. Okay, let's go for it. Not bad, I need to make sure they don't get too close is the thing, because if they do, I'm in big trouble. So this is another huge wave, I'm just gonna send out another thing of that, not too bad. I could also be activating the plant food with an iceberg lettuce if I wanted to. I don't know how good of an idea that is. So let's get them under lily pads. Okay, ready? Go for it, because there's a lot of guys here. Actually, I actually might freeze these guys like that, because there's a lot of them coming in. We got more plant food on the way as well. Uh, maybe I should have put some of these lily pads closer. Oh boy. Come on now, I'll put this here. Oh, that, okay, I guess the tide's too high now. That's a problem though. Okay, ready, go. Ooh, yeah, that tore up a bunch of them. That was great. Okay, this is the last wave, so I'm gonna wait for a good chunk of them to come out. And then maybe I'll also do this. So I don't think it's gonna go for the guys under the water. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for them to actually pop up. Actually, no, it's attacking him. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's getting him, no problem. Alrighty, that was an easy level. Thank you so much, game.
my request was answered. So there we go, day 21 done, super duper easy with the check out the homing thistle. I so want to get that plant sometime in the future. But for right now, we get five coins and five of the lawnmowers, so we're good to go. And on to day 22. So here we are, Big Wave Beach. Oh boy. Oh, there's a new zombie there. He's like a fisherman or something on the top, right? A little bit. Uh, but for right now, I think I'm gonna do normal sunflower again. It just sort of worked. So I'll try that. Oh, and you know what? I can go and level up some plants now because we have them unlocked. I might as well get to that. Get the guacodile right here, level up, get some toughness and damage up, and it has 10 out of 50 for its next level. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like there's no other level ups right now that I can actually get from plants I actually have unlocked. So we'll have to wait and see for those. But for right now, let's go ahead and figure this out. Uh, going against all these different zombies, it assuredly will not be easy but I will give it my best shot. So yeah, there's that. A lot of people were suggesting a strategy that might be difficult to do, but I am interested in trying it, which is the bowling bulb and tile turnip. If this doesn't work, I might revert back to our uh, strategy with all of the rotabagas, because that just seems to be the easy go-to for this world. And with, I mean, I could set up some more rotabagas even still now if it feels necessary, I'm not really sure. I might just get it just in case. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm getting, so might as well. Oh, and we get lots of room for actual stuff, so I can do two rows of sunflowers without too much of a stress. That's gonna be great. Okay, so this level's looking a little bit better. My confidence is renewed after such an easy level last time. Let's see how fast that crashes. Um, so get rid of one of these zombies, and we should be able to get rid of the other one soon enough with the same idea if we wanted to. Maybe I'll set the guacodile here. That might be good. No, I probably should have done that the other way around. Oh, I probably should have gotten infinite. Yeah, that would have been good. Okay, well, I can do this for this guy. And I can get started with that. You know, might as well. Maybe should have put it somewhere better. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um. Yeah, well that's gonna activate that guacodile. So I think what might be best here is actually replacing that guacodile. Oh no. Uh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh darn it, I did not. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's just grab this dude before it becomes an issue because he will become an issue. Whoa, fishing zombies here. Let's hit him with some bowling balls. No, hey! Okay, well actually that's not too bad. Don't do that again though. Don't, hey, stop that. What a rude dude. So he's like the punk rock zombie, but in the opposite direction. Okay, well you want the guacodile, you got the guacodile. How did that feel? Guess I didn't care too much. Okay, this guy's gotta go. Over this way. Okay, we got his inner tube. Got sunk. That's interesting. I just don't know if I'll be actually able to make enough sun for everything I wanna do here. I'm running into some big issues in a couple of different spots. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna need seaweed for that cone head. So, just use the seaweed. I know, I'm trying to put it in water. There we go. I need more sun for the bowling bulb. More bowling bulbs, pretty please. Why didn't the seaweed do anything over there? What are you talking about? Get out of here, you booty butt. Come on, are you kidding me? It just the seaweed just wanted to take a day off. Oh, that is upsetting. Okay, come on, walk a dial up this way or something. Pretty please, just something. Um, bowling ball. How can I, can I actually potentially, I don't have enough stuff. Uh, come on, just do this. That's not gonna be enough. Oh my gosh, Guacodile, help me out, help me out, Guacodile. Over this way, over this way. That got rid of a lot of zombies, which is good, but I need to get rid of more zombies. It just never ends. It just never, ever ends. It's constant, constant pain and agony. Stop moving my sunflowers. Just gotta make sure he never moves my bowling bolts, because that'll be a real issue. Okay, what am I doing about you down here? Maybe this, this is gonna be a big problemo. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have enough sun, I don't have, okay, I gotta do this. I really didn't wanna have to do that. I wanna use my plant food for stuff more worthwhile, but if I could get, could get rid of some of those zombies, that's great. There we go, there we go, there we go, come on, come on. I need to earn up at least 250 sun. Easier said than done, of course. Okay, what am I doing about this guy down here? I can do that for now. <laughs> they really want that sunflower. 
to a ridiculous degree. Okay, who can I get? Stop moving my bowling bulb! I told you not to do that, look what you're doing! Jeez. Okay, I need to do this so that I can earn up another one of these so that I can actually make this like a worthwhile thing. I think that if this had more flags to it, this definitely, this could have been an even better strategy because I definitely see the, the perk to that. Without question, that's really good. Um, we're not quite done. Okay, either of these two guys would be great to get rid of. Can I dig up the panel? I can't, that'd be great if I could get my son back that way. Fortunately, there's no, uh, no refunds. That's fine, we got it done. We didn't lose any lawnmowers, which at the end of the day, <laughs> I guess that's the most important thing even if I used all my plants. Okay, day 22 completed. Man, let's see what we get for this pinata. I get another 100 coins, you bet. We get three, what was that, three? Yep, three experience for Tangle Kelp, four experience for Bowling Ball, that's gonna be a level up, that's good to see. Oh, hey, user Dave, please note the line of banana launchers, ooh. They appear to need our protection. Let's get to it, after all, bananas are a very appealing fruit. User Dave, if I had a head, I would be shaking it right now. Wow, okay, so we get to try some banana pulse to do a little bit of a sneak peek for next episode, survive and protect the endangered plants. Are they banana pulse or banana launchers? So to na tap on the banana to select it, to pick a target, tap to pick a target tile for attack. Banana. banana. They just say banana when you, when you shoot them. Great, you can also tr click and drag, I suppose. Okay, so I think that now that we actually have a mild amount of protection to start us off, I don't mind doing twin sunflower for this one. Honestly, I feel like this could still be tough and could still use a number of attempts. I wish I could do my own banana launchers, but I can't. Um. Infinite, I need infinite, where is that? Over this way. Um, I could try more tile turnip. We'll try this, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna regret it, but there's only one way to find out and that's to try. So I wanna go nice and slow with this. I actually don't wanna speed by it with the extra speed just because uh, I thought that'd be a bad idea. Okay, so this guy, did that work? It did, okay, cool. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. No, well, actually, maybe I shouldn't have, because obviously they have a friend. I could, like, how much area of effect does it have? None. Okay, I, I had to figure that out. So I can get that there. And then this banana's ready. Banana. I cannot wait to try the plant food for it, but, oh my gosh. They really try to make you pay for the fact that you're getting a lot. Okay, yeah, just launch it on everybody, please. On most people, at the least. That's something. Um, I don't know what I'm doing about you guys. I can do that, and then I can try the bowling bulb and see how it goes. Over this way, I need to launch more stuff, and then here, don't you dare grab my bananas or sunflowers. Yes, no, they, they got moved. Okay, no, my sunflowers! <laughs> Come on, you get out of here, be gone! Be gone! Get out of my hair! Jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm out of sunflowers. I'm gone, I'm finished. Oh no. This game is evil. It's evil. I don't care what anybody says. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. Um, I gotta get this guy. Like if not, I'm in big trouble. I don't have any sun because I don't have any sunflowers. What are you supposed to do about something like that? Come on, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Jomu's boss, that wasn't enough. More plant food, that has to be it. Come on, come on, come on. It didn't even hit him whatsoever. Not even a little bit. There we go, that actually got him. Okay, okay, um, I'm gonna have to take one for the team down here. I don't have anything else to work with. Um, Guacadal, do your thing. I just, I don't have anything, it's insane. Not another one. Not another one. <laughs> no, leave my bananas alone. I can't believe they survived for this long, to be honest with you. Totally flabbergasted by that. Like, I can't believe that. No, 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 I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Uh <laughs> I gotta change back to normal sunflowers. Twin sunflowers just doesn't work for this world. I need some nice, light, easy attack. And I think the best way to do that is going to be um, Colonel Pulse, something affordable, something doable. So I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be able to use a tile turn up too much here. I just, I can't, I cannot. 
I don't have the feasibility to. Um, okay, so I need to get rid of you immediately. Because they're the big stressor, is the fishing zombies, because they are gonna try to get the bananas closer to the action, which makes them more at risk of losing. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get my first row of sunflowers here, which is fantastic. I'm just gonna do that to you. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, I got plant food that. This is my chance to use it, I think. Maybe I rushed into that a little too much. No, 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 no. What are you doing down here? Can you please refrain from eating my sunflowers? Pretty please. Request denied. Okay, do this quick, do this quick. Did it work? It worked, sweet. You just gotta do it before they do anything. Oh no, 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 no. Speaking of which, uh, was that a mistake? It was not, but it could have been. Definitely could have been. Come on, come on, come on. My gosh. Good gracious, this is just total baloney. Okay, I need another one right there. There's so much tapping as well. Like more tapping than I can handle. I'm gonna wait for you to eat that sunflower so I can turn it into a guacodile. There we go, see how does that feel, buddy? I need more plant food. I need more everything. Um, down goes that guy, which is great. I can deal with these guys a little bit. Okay, that sort of kind of worked. Sort of kind of didn't. More bananas. I need more bananas. I need more plant food. This really isn't going on that much better, is it? <laughs> okay, um, as soon as another banana is ready, which hopefully is soon, I need to... Oh no, that was bad timing. Okay, do this here. Do that there. Not bad. Hey, hey, what? There's only so many times I can tap the screen per second. I'm gonna try a little something like this. We'll see how it goes. I've been trying and trying and trying. It's it's something, all right. It, it's definitely something. Okay, well, as many sunflowers as possible while I deal with these guys would be great. Yeah, before they do anything troublesome would be fantastic. Okay, get that a little bit like there. That'll get rid of both of them. Just trying to finish up our first row of sunflowers as soon as possible while I do all that. Please let that hit both of them. Yes, thank you. That was really kind. So what I can do now is wait for them to pop up. Do this. Make sure this guy gets taken out. Yeah, okay, even if I sort of overdid a little bit, maybe I shouldn't have done that then. I don't know. Uh, right now I just gotta focus on survival because survival is tough. Come on, come on, come on. And maybe that was a little too much, but I, I just didn't know. I just did not know. Uh, another lily pad, another sunflower. I do have the rotabagas out this time, you may have noticed. Will they get rid of this, these guys, this group in one hit? It will? Okay, awesome. Um, I'm thinking Colonel Polt will still be my best bet for some things. Okay, you know what? Now's a good time because there's a gargantua out. I might as well focus on the gargantua as much as I possibly can. Um, there we go, okay. That sunflower is safe, for now. <laughs> I was gonna make sure the rest of us are safe by continuing to try to get rid of this gargantuar. Okay, the, the one guy in the back is buttered. That's good. Come on, more bananas. Hopefully this will do enough damage to maybe get rid of somebody. Oh, the buttering is actually saving us here. I gotta be honest. There we go, he's done, he's gone. I need to get rid of you. I need to get this sunflower there. And I do have primal walnuts. We'll have to see how these guys end up actually working out because I feel like they're a good idea just because of how fast of a respawn we can end up getting with them. Get rid of you as soon as possible. Get rid of this guy because he's driving me nuts. <laughs> oh boy. And like I'm making decent sun. Hey, stop that. Okay, banana launcher for you. Banana launcher for you. Colonel Pole Walnut over there would be great as well. Come on, okay. This is what I've been waiting for. Launch the stuff everywhere. That sort of kind of worked, it also sort of kind of didn't at all. Why didn't that really do much? Um, I just need more plant food. I need the bananas to actually be up and ready, which they're not. Uh, you just, I can't get enough sun to deal with everything. It's insane. Um, let's get another kernel pulled over that way. I'm gonna get this there before that becomes a big issue. I'm thinking this might be the one time I cash in this because this is getting crazy. Um, no, 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 no. Get that there. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me, you're kidding me. Um, get that there. Leave that plant alone. 
Okay, you know what? I need this here. No. No, 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 no! Come on, there's not enough! Okay, this time I'm gonna try something a little bit different. It might not work out this first time. We'll have to sort of experiment with this a little bit. Come on, one more banana. One more banana. One more banana. I know you can do it. There it is, okay. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, there's like such a risk of just making an error with uh, like misclicking the bananas. It can be very troublesome in that way. Come on, come on, come on. Get rid of this dude as soon as possible. Okay, so he actually hits the wall, which means we need this infinite thing going on for as long as physically possible. So I'm gonna seaweed you, for sure. For whatever reason, they're not really hitting him too much. I'm trying to get that dealt with. Okay, okay. Get this here. I probably should've used some plant food or something. I'll have to wait and see. Right now, I can do that. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Let's try it. Just on you, sure, why not? Get more on you. This is sort of going somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Rotobagus, I need you. I need you, Rotobagus. Save me. Save me. Rotobagus? Rotobagus! Okay, there they go. Oh, my gosh. Too close. Too close for comfort. More plant food. That's great. More Rotobagus it is. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Will that save you? It will. Okay, that's good. I really needed that then. Um. What I need to make sure then here is that this keeps going more than anything. I really need that. And I, I probably should use the plant food with the other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, more of this, for sure. Okay. Oh no, the wall ended. The wall ended. It's over. It's done. Oh no. That's a problem. That is the biggest problem I could have imagined. Uh because we need to get rid of the gar Okay, the gargantua is down, but I wasted a banana for it. Okay, uh, Rotobiga there. Oh, I just barely blocked off that other guy. More plant food for the banana then. Here it goes. Come on. This isn't even the last wave though. I still have more. Oh no, I still have more. Okay, no, not what I wanted to do. Um, do another lily pad. Don't stop doing that. Okay, put that there. More Rotobagus. The twin sunflowers are still hanging out, luckily. But man, oh man, this is ridiculous. Okay, I gotta get rid of this guy. Ooh, no, 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 no. Here, do this. There's no plant food to be seen anywhere. I need to activate something here. I'm thinking, I'll activate that. I'll go over this way. No, no. Okay, so things are going all right. They're not perfect, for sure they're not perfect, but they're going somewhere right now. I need to deal with this guy one way or another, but now we got the huge group of zombies coming in. I need to get rid of the fisherman zombies or everything goes south really fast, and if I need to, I'm gonna buy a power up. I just, I can't handle this level anymore. It's making me go insane. So I'm trying what I can, but whatever that is, isn't so easy. <laughs> Especially with the gargantua ruining my time down that way. Okay, so, be of the gargantua. The Rotobaga should deal with everybody else to some degree, and there's no more fisherman zombies. So that's really what put us at a huge inconvenience in a lot of ways. Um, so there we go. He's done. We actually are doing it right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Does everybody beat him up? <laughs> None of the Rotobagas are in an angle where they can hit him. There we go. We're fine. We actually did it. I don't know what I did this different that time. I just kept putting Rotobagas down. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a headache. What a headache. Only one more level left to deal with in today's episode, and then I'm done. Thank goodness. Man, oh man, I love this the, this game, and these levels are fun, but they're also intentionally difficult to a ridiculous degree. So, nothing too crazy with this one. It looks like it's just gonna be more bowling. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not complaining. Hopefully this isn't, you know, unnecessarily difficult bowling, because like, why make the mini games difficult like that? You know, just people wanna get through the story mode just for fun, you know? Uh, but we'll have to wait and see if that'll be the case or not. Of course, the blue one, the light blue ones are the weakest, the orange are like in the middle, these lightning blue ones are the strongest. Probably should have held on to that. It didn't really do as much as I was hoping. Oh well. The orange, like it usually goes like what? Light blue, dark blue, orange in terms of strength, and then there's these magically strong ones, but you know, they're a little different for obvious reasons. I've got to stop that guy a little bit. I wanna see if I can't stop the surfing zombie without it being an issue, but 
Looks like it's gonna be a bit of an issue. Come on, come on, one more, one more. There it is. Now I know I can get rid of you guys. Yep, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, I was hoping that would hurt the surfer zombie. I'm holding on to this electrically charged one for as long as I physically can. Because the more zombies that are on the screen for that, the better. Oh, unfortunately, they got, the, they got their surfboard sound, which is gonna make that a bit more troublesome. But not impossible. There we go, come on, one more, one more, one more. Right there, excellent. Okay, so I'm starting to think. Oh, I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. I might need to use, okay, the tide's coming down. Oh man, a lot of zombies. I'm thinking now's a good time. I wish I could have bounced at a better angle, that's for sure. I do get another one now. Probably should have set that up up there. No, there we go, there we go. Down this way then. That actually wasn't too bad. The bowling balls, not the bowling balls, the surfboards. Sort of helped out the bowling balls there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, come on. Come on. Ah, they're gonna get that, aren't they? That's a shame. I was so close to getting them too, and then I get this. Oh my gosh, the game's just making fun of me. And the last huge wave is coming up. I need to save this. One more, one more, one more, one more. Seriously, that wasn't enough? This like, doesn't do any damage. <laughs> there it goes. Surfboard's gonna get in the way now. And this still isn't even the last huge wave. Get rid of this guy a little bit. There we go. I'm thinking we gotta use this. I mean, it hopefully will give us another one. But here comes the huge wave. I don't know, we might be in trouble. Like, as in, we might be finished levels of trouble. I'll have to wait and see how this does. That did okay. I actually got rid of most of those zombies up top. This guy's a problem. I can't do anything about him. I tried. I failed. That's super upsetting. Okay. Okay, the, you know, lawnmower's doing its lawnmower thing. It does save me for now. Okay, got him a little bit. Probably should've used that up here, I don't know. Oh boy. Luckily, I have lawnmowers to protect me in both of these scenarios, but I'd rather not need it. Okay, there goes that guy, just this guy. Come on, ready, boom, boom. Okay, we only lost two lawnmowers, that's something. <laughs> and there we go, the last level of the day. That was just, what a crazy episode. So much work, so much work. Over an hour for me, it's probably a lot less for you guys, but man, oh man, we got a bag of coins. So that's all I can handle when it comes to a day of Plants vs. Zombies action. Like, man, oh man, was that ridiculous. But anyways, as you can see, we got levels 16 or 17 through 24 done. Next episode, we'll be doing levels 25 through 32 and completing Big Wave Beach, hopefully still keeping my sanity. Would be great, we're also gonna unlock the uh, banana launcher. That'll be fun. Today we unlocked the crocodiles, so that was fun. Oh my gosh, it was tough. And next episode's probably gonna be even tougher. We'll have to find out together when we do that in the next episode of Plans vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Quackadile Zebra, so when you've watched at the end of the year, a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.